Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I have for you my second Dollar Tree Carrot Wreath Form DIY. If you have not seen my first carrot wreath, I will link that tutorial in the description box below. Please remember if you like this video to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. For this wreath, you're going to need one of the carrot wreath forms. It's a metal wreath form from Dollar Tree, and it is, I think, 20 inches in length. You are going to also need one roll of the Dollar Tree ribbon. Only one roll will do it. So isn't that wonderful? I didn't know how many rolls of ribbon it would take, so that's why I bought extra that you'll need one roll to wrap the carrot wreath form, and then you'll need a second roll to make a bow. This adorable carrot ribbon is also from Dollar Tree, and then you'll need some Dollar Tree twine carrots. You'll just need one. You're also going to need your hot glue gun and glue sticks and your scissors to get started, and you might want to put on your hot glue finger guards for this part. So we're just going to flip our frame over to the back side and hot glue our ribbon onto the frame. Just be very careful when you're adding your hot glue. Make sure you don't hot glue your wreath down to your table, then let it have a little bit of time before you start wrapping your carrot wreath form. This is a really simple carrot wreath to make. You're just going to take your uh, orange burlap ribbon and just wrap the frame. Now, at first I was just wrapping just like this and it was just not laying and looking as flat and nice and neat as I wanted it to. So I took this off and I started wrapping it again and I started adding a little bit of hot glue on the sides and then I would place the ribbon, pull it tight, and then if it was a little bulky, I would also adjust it on the back. Might have to fold a little bit down, add a little bit of hot glue. So it looks much better if you do it this way and hot glue, then place, pull it nice and tight, place your ribbon in the hot glue, hold it just a little bit, and then wrap it, same steps. So use a little hot glue and it works out a lot easier for you and looks better. So I just continued wrapping the carrot wreath form and then I had probably, when I got to the end, I probably had about six inches left over on this roll of Dollar Tree ribbon. On my first carrot wreath, I used the Dollar Tree nautical rope and it turned out really cute. I wish I could put a picture in the corner for you, but I'm new, using a new editing app and I'm not sure how to do that just yet, but I can link that tutorial because I think it turned out really cute too. And that's the tiny piece of ribbon I had left over. So for $1.25, you can wrap your carrot wreath form. And that's the back. It's not too pretty, but it works. And you can always go back and cover the entire back of the wreath form with felt, and it gives it a more put together professional look. You're also going to need two rolls of the Dollar Tree six inch deco mesh. So two rolls of deco mesh, and you're going to cut it into strips at 20 inches. You will also need some green pipe cleaners and you'll want to cut your pipe cleaners in half. For the top of the carrot wreath, I just took this green deco mesh and I just rolled it into little bundles. And then I took a pipe cleaner, wrapped it around the center of the little roll and then I went to the top of the carrot wreath form and just twisted the pipe cleaner around the frame and then folded the ends under. So you can use as many rolls as you want or as few. My daughter thought I got a little bit too carried away making the top full. So you'll have to let me know, do I need to take a few off or is it okay like it is? I just did single little rolls, but you could put 
three rolls together and make a bundle and attach it to the wreath form and that might be a little bit quicker to do. Today is March 2nd, 2022. Yesterday on March 1st, I announced my March giveaway. It's a beautiful Easter yardstick door swag tutorial. So if you want to enter my March giveaway on March 31st, 2022, I will be giving away one $50 Hobby Lobby gift card to one lucky person. Details are on that video and I'll link it in the description box below for you. Next, I'm tying a pretty bow with the cute carrot ribbon from Dollar Tree. Just going to do a double bow. Just when you're making your bow, you want to make sure your loops are the same size on each time. Now this ribbon is a little bit difficult to work with, but it was just too cute, so I just had to use it on this carrot wreath. I did use a few tulips from Michaels on this wreath. Michaels this week had tulips on for $1.99, so I picked up a few of their beautiful tulips and I just cut off three pieces and I made a little swag. So I just put one on the left, one on the right, overlap the stem, and then I wanted one end to have more tulips than the other end, so I put a second one on the left, zip tied the two, or zip tied the swag together, and then I took the wires on the bow, wrapped it around the little swag and then to attach my bow I took the bow wires went to the top of the carrot frame and then just threaded the wires through the top of the frame went to the back go gave those wires a twist and cut them off short and then make sure you fluff the loops of your bow make sure your tails are like you want and then to hang it up I just took some twine made a loop and then I just tied it onto the top of the metal carrot frame
And the last thing I did was I took a twine carrot from Dollar Tree and I hot glued it on to the center of the bow. So you'll have to watch the other carrot wreath tutorial and let me know which one is your favorite. I really think this one is my favorite, but I don't know. I like the other one too. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Share this video. Make sure if you're entering uh, my March giveaway that you write those two words down there in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you'll have a wonderful evening.